going on everybody, it's your boy Slap Train, and welcome back guys to another episode of Highway to Horizon 2. Today is going to be episode number 15, and today we are sitting with our rally builds. Now today we're not going to be going into the rally expansion pack, we're going to save that for another episode, because we did what, like three of those in a row? I figured we get down back to the story mode, and uh, that leads me to today's video's point, I guess, of this whole thing, and that is no story mode in... Forza Horizon 2. Now, this is confirmed by TotalXbox.com on their newest article. I will link this article in the description box below for you guys to read. Um, but essentially, it states that there's going to be no more story mode for Horizon 2. Now, I read straight from this article right now. Um, it says, Fulton said of the absent story, we understand that there are a lot of players like that. What we don't have is a story per se. There is a really strong structure set up around the festival and Drivatars. They really are the characters in the game. You form your own narratives with real people, friends, and family you know. Now, I don't know about you, but in two minds about this, one on the other hand, the loathe of the original Horizons, very obvious Hollywood-inspired storyline, and on the other, I'm not confident I can form a narrative on my own that's more elaborate than man drives car into other cars explodes. Now, I'm not exactly too sure about what that means, but I'm a little bit disappointed that there's no story mode. I mean, that was something now that, you know, I really, really wanted to see and um, real quick, real quick before we get into this, this is going to be a drifting episode and uh, we had Santa Claus drop off some gifts for us. Now I checked these out before we started this episode. We have $150,000 of credits just get dropped into our bank account, so let's pick those up right now. I'm down to drive $150,000 worth of stuff and we got three new cars from my man, Mr. Awesome right now and he has delivered some crazy damn paints to go with these things. I'm down to slide every single one of these cars in this episode today. And we have $83,000. Thank you very much there, Turn 10. Appreciate it. What else do we have right now? Is this the only thing? All right, let's download our new gifts. And we're going to be using all... Oh, it's just paint jobs? Come on, now. I wanted the damn car, man. I thought the... Oh, my God, though. A little bit disappointed with that right now. I thought they were all new cars right now. And then we got to save every single one of these? Okay, 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 okay. Hold on now. If this doesn't load up fast enough, we're not going to be saving the other two. This is ridiculous. Saving. Saving. Like, come on now. So, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So, yeah. These are just download. Yeah. So, I don't know if these are actual cars. Oh, okay. Received a livery. This is the actual car. We just received a Mustang. Hell yeah, man. Boss 302. I am about that damn life right now. I'm ready to drive that thing. With the paint and everything? Oh, we're going to be making this a damn drift car. Oh my god, man. But yeah, so going back towards the storyline and stuff like that, you know, I was, I was kind of disappointed hearing that, and I'm a little bit kind of kind of wondering, you know, what they're thinking in terms of, you know, making the story player mode or whatever the hell it is, single player campaign, you know, really worth playing. You know, like, how are they going to do... Yeah, I, I don't I don't understand their logic, man, on this. I mean, if you guys want to, you know, help me out in the comments below, let me understand, you know, why there is no story mode. Let me know, please, because, you know, I feel like they're trying to bring it towards more of a, well, um, I would say, Gran Turismo style or even, you know, Forza style, since there is no story in Forza. Now, it's 685 horsepower. 2013 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. So it's not the 302, it's the GT500. My mistake, gentlemen, my mistake. All right, I wasn't reading. I guessed. I guess now, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, the story mode, you know, I that was one of the main things why I liked Horizon. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm playing it right now is because of the story mode. Um, you know, just the incentives of, you know, like getting cutscenes. And I find now that, you know, games are slowly going away from cutscenes. And, you know, that is... That is, I feel, something that brings in, you know, more viewers than anything, more than the content itself. And, I mean, look at Metal Gear Solid I and, mean, you know, how how big that game has become. And, you know, mainly because of cutscenes. That game is, like, 90% cutscenes, if you guys have ever played this game. Um, you know, the the actual Guns of the Patriots, I think, the last cutscene, I think I watched it for, like, it's like an hour long, man. Where's my control freaks right now? I'm looking for control freaks. You're gonna need to, oh, I found you bitches hiding underneath the controller right now. I, I got them. Let's put these on properly. Be good to go. There we go. All right. So where are we going to take this beast, man? 
We have an S-Class Mustang. Can we even get into anything down here? I don't think that we can. And I'm debating if I want to take a drive down to the uh, the other highway. Mm. We could take it down to Eagle Ridge, man. Is it Eagle Ridge? I don't know if it's Eagle Ridge or not. Is it Eagle Ridge? I think it's Eagle Ridge. You know what? Let's go down the mountain this time, man. We have not done any mountain driving at all. I think we drove down it maybe once or twice. But I'm ready to run this thing, man. We got Von Gittin's Mustang for this episode. Courtesy of Mr. Awesome 96. Thank you very much, my man. We're going to slide this just for you, my dude. Oh, perfect. Didn't even touch the damn grass whatsoever. And that is why I love, you know, the open roads of these games. Is because, you know, just able to just freestyle it, man. Not have to worry about, you know, going off-road a little bit. Hitting, you know, hitting the peanut butter and everything like that. Oh, we just wall tapped that man right there. Keep it going, keep it going. Now, there was another thing in that article as well, too. Discussing the use of the Kinect. Now, apparently the Kinect's going to have... A huge part to play in this next horizon and there's something called Anna now it's gonna be like your personal assistant on the game um, kind of like the GPS system in you know, this one right here the one that's talking to you right now um, but it's gonna be more you know personal you're gonna be able to you know really ask it some serious questions I'm hoping eh, oh, you know I'm hoping to get another girlfriend so I'm you know I'm hoping Anna's single you know what I'm saying I'm just messing with you gentlemen, but you know, I'm, I'm just hoping it's on that kind of intelligence level. And that's what they said, you know, they said that Anna's going to be really intelligent. We are just killing these walls right now. We are- OH SHIT! We're good though, we're good I think. We didn't damage anything too bad. Listen to this beast, man. You better get out the damn way, sir. Don't be damn flashing me right now. We burn it out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get your damn high beams off, sir. We got a damn date up the mountain, man. We got to get there. So, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know how you guys feel about this whole no story mode, you know, more connect, this and that. I really don't know how it's going to work out. And honestly, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting worried for the game, knowing that there's no story mode in here. And I'm not saying it's going to be a bad game. Um, I just feel that, you know, story mode, I think, was something that brought a lot of fans to Forza Horizon. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it wasn't a big story mode. But, I mean, I'm sure that they could have, you know, maybe implemented something. You know what I'm saying? Even Midnight Club had a damn story mode. And that thing, you know, that was damn, that was huge, that open world. You know, you know just the entire concept of the open world. And I feel like they missed... A huge opportunity not having a story mode, you know, really making that game, you know, something that would, you know, live on for generations to come. And, you know, I feel that could have been, you know, a modern day Need for Speed, you know, Most Wanted or, you know, stuff like that. Just by the sheer fact of, you know, having such a dynamic world, you know, you're in a massive open world in a, you know, an actual car setting, you know what I'm saying? You're actually in a setting of cars and, you know, you know, the late night parties, you know, cruises this and that there could have been a huge and i'm talking huge opportunity for that to play a big role in the game and i just feel like they missed oh we're missing our bumper and spoiler okay i'm about that life a damn drift drift missile mustang right now let's get it this thing holds nicely but no i mean like i said there was a huge opportunity for the story mode you know obviously they have the reasons and that's fine but i mean i want to at least you know think of what i would do in a story mode because that's where you know that's where all the hype comes from, is your own imagination with games, right? I mean, personally for me, I would have had a story mode where, you know, you start off by driving to this festival, maybe do a nice little cross-country route, you know, you start off with no money in your pocket, almost like, you know, a modern-day Paul Walker, you know, you know, the prelude to Too Fast, Too Furious. I always enjoyed that prelude, just because of, you know, seeing your character, you know, rise from the bottom to what he is now, and, you know, really kind of, you know, feeling for that character, and really kind of... I would say attaching yourself to that character. And I mean, I, I think I would have started off with, you know, him gaining through the ranks, you know, going through, you know, uh, battling other drivers that are out on the circuit, this and that, um, you know, maybe even making some friends, some enemies, and, you know, maybe having, you know, some really nice races. And it didn't have to be, you know, just cinematic stuff where, you know, you're going through alleyways, you know, chasing people, but just something in terms of, you know, making it a little bit more enjoyable to play. Because I don't know if I'm going to really you know, want to play it too much knowing now that there is no story mode to push me through the campaign. You know, 
I'm, you know, I'm really hoping I'm... I wouldn't say I'm going into it with a, you know, a closed mind. You know, I'm, I'm gonna play the game as intended and really, you know, have high hopes for the game, but I just really wish that, um, that there was a story mode. That's, that's all I wish for. And, I mean, I, I, I think it's fair to say that, I mean, I, I would say every game de actual deserves a story mode. I mean, even Call of Duty's doing a story mode. And I think that Horizon's weighing too heavily on the online portion of the game to really push by players. And, you know, I really hope that that's not the case because there are a lot of people, including myself, that enjoy the story modes. And, I mean, even, you know, the proof's in the pudding, gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? We're going back, we're playing old school Need for Speeds. We're, you know, we're playing the olden day games that really, you know, were impact on the, on the car culture and, you know, what I would say brought us to today's point in time. You know, I mean, fine example of Need for Speed Shift. Even that damn game had a story mode. Even simple as, you know, you know, going through and, you know, like meeting professional drivers and, you know, going through the actual, oh, going through the actual clips. Obviously, it wasn't as dynamic as, you know, say, you know, Carbon or, um, or say most wanted but it was there at least and it gave you some incentive to play through i'm hoping that we see kind of the same style in forza horizon 2 um you know obviously i'm hoping that they're not going to do anything and just say you know here hit this like hot pursuit did and i think if they do that their game will flop dramatically at least for the single player aspect um because a lot of people were even commenting before about hot pursuit saying you know slab you know the game's great and all but you know it gets a little boring there's no story mode and, um, you know, I can kind of see that happening, and, you know, it did a little bit for me. So, that's my two cents on the story mode. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on that as well, too, because that would definitely, um, that definitely open up my eyes in terms of perspectives and stuff like that as well. So, I'd love to see your comments in the bottom. Let me know, gentlemen, and maybe I might rip a damn car down this, down this hill as fast as I can. I'm really debating. Or, this F40, though. How much money do we have? $1.9 million to work with. And I'm trying to think of what I want to do right now. What do I want to do? We can take the 240 down. I'd be about that life. Or we can go for a damn time trial with an Impreza. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Since we didn't use this thing for too much last episode, debating if I should take it for a run down the hill one time, man. One time. Or take the Mustang down again. It's a good question. It's a very good question right now. You know what? Let's take the Subi down the hill one last time for a time trial down the hill. Almost like a toge sesh, I guess you can say. And we're going to be ripping this thing through gears right now. Again, this has the rally transmission, rally tires on here. So I don't know how it's going to react to the actual asphalt. But if we do see dirt, we're going to try and use it to our advantage. Turn Let's go, baby. When it is safe to do so. I got you, girl. Oh, we got a damn sign in here. Thank you, appreciate it. And we are gonna set our map towards the bottom of the hill for the next outpost. And uh, from there, we're gonna teleport to the middle of the area where we are going to be picking up a new car for this episode. Ooh, this thing gets down though. Or oh, I wonder if we can just drive these. Oh yeah, I wonder if we can drive these in the damn areas right now for a race. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have a look at that. We're only B class, so we gotta have something that we can do right now. Most of all the races are up here though. Son of a jet! Look at that man, it's so damn far. Why you make it so far? The scorpion sting. Okay, okay, let's go there then. We're gonna make our way actually first to the outpost, change cars. Go to the center of the map and then change cars again. We're going to buy a new car for that B-Class race. I think that would be really cool to do. But we're going to be doing a nice time trial right here with this. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Nobody's seen that, right? All right, good. Thank you. We're going to go hit it in here, though. Rip it in here. Oh, baby. That was dope. The amount of G-forces that would be in the car with you would just be, you know, it, it would be astonishing getting ripped on a 180 through that section, man. It would be ridiculous. Excuse me. Appreciate it. We're going to rip this. Oh, those rally tires hold, man. Oh, my God. They're nice. I see if we can rip it through here, too. Oh, no problem with this, man. The rally gears definitely do help when you're throwing this. We got dirt. 
We're going to try and get some solid speed and rip it around another corner here. I think this one's going to be nice and fine right here, man. Oh, my God. Here we go. Shit! No! I'm so sorry! I hope our car's not that bad. Yo, there is no... Oh, my God, dude. Look at our damn hood. Everything is... Oh, my God. Our damn hood scoop is all messed up. Look at the... What the... I'm done. All right. Now I'm pissed. Let's go. Third person. we just be ripping this shit now. Oh, straight to the dirt. Here we go. We need a nice 90-degree corner, man. Little power sliding. Now, guys, remember, this is not drifting right now. We are power sliding, all right? Complete difference on here. With the all-wheel drive, you're letting the car pull you through the corner. When you have rear-wheel drive, you're using the counter steer to actually guide you through the corner. But this one, though, your car just does all the work for you. So it's, it's, it's virtually just a power slide through these sections. So, Oh, that was nice. Let's make our way through. My bad, man. My bad. I wish you could go up those damn hills, man. That would have been crazy. Oh, my God. Here's a nice section right here. We're going to rip this. God, no! Look at what I'm saying right now. We got pulled out of that all-wheel drive for the win. God, man. That was crazy right there. I did not expect that to be pulled. It's been a while since I've used all-wheel drive, gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. No, I was hoping to get in there, man. That would have been dope. That's all good, though. This car definitely handles really nice on the road, though. I mean... I don't know how much of a difference in grip these tires make, and I would, I really wish I would have made a comparison video when this game first came out in terms of the tires and the grips, and just use the same car, you know, going down the hill with different tires. I think that would have been really cool. Oh, man. Now I feel bad. I mean, it does look not bad, even though with that, you know what I'm saying? Lost your damn wheel, though. All right, we're going for it, gentlemen. I don't know if you guys know about this, but we're hitting it, though. Here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let's go! Oh, shit! I, you know, th they must have just put that there in a recent update, because I, I could have swore you could have went over there, you know what I'm saying? What the heck? Or, was it that bank right there? I'm pretty sure, oh, what the, what is this guy doing, man? You can't, oh, oh my god. This guy just got walked in his venom. You better sell that shit, my dude. Right, even though the guy probably could have just put his foot down with no problem and just ran me out. But that's all right, though. I'm glad he didn't. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he didn't. And we didn't even change the car. We went to damn upgrades. What the hell am I doing? What am I doing, man? All right. Come on now. Can I not? Ooh, we have a new barn find. Collected. Oh, we just haven't even collected these yet. Okay, okay. So, since we haven't collected the Bugatti, I'm down to do a highway run with this thing right now. Let's go. I'm down to drive this. Mint, huh? This sweet speedster sure shows the genius of Bugatti. Don't even think about mixing her with anything but the finest class of automobiles. No problem, my dude. We're going to get in this thing. We're going to fully upgrade this right now. I am excited. Why did it go back? Unless I'm going back to the damn shop, which I hope I am. All right. So, custom upgrade right now. You know what? Let's just do auto upgrade because... There's no point because I'm going to be putting in all the parts anyways, right? So, that's all right. Uh, horsepower, 699. That doesn't make sense. That's not on the right engine, I don't think. Hold on. Wait, why are we still driving this Subi right now? Change car. Where's my Bugatti at? There you are. All right. Let's put this on. Oh my, this thing is going to be quick though guys, I'm telling you right now, this is probably going to be, I think this is one of the fastest cars in this game right now, I'm almost certain of it. Auto upgrades, yep. How much horsepower, I think it's like 1200, isn't it? 758, okay hold on, something doesn't seem right right now. I'm feeling like the engine swap is not done. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Alright, so, I wonder what else we can do to the engine right now, can I do anything else? Oh my god, you know what, let's just do this, whatever. Alright, this thing is going to be a absolute monster. I wonder how much horsepower this is. 
You're not ready to see this horsepower. Oh my god, 1400 horsepower. Are you serious? Yo, this thing is going to be a beast, man. Let's put the biggest rubber that we can get on this thing. Um, we only have three rim ch What? So oh, never mind. Just for that brand. It's been a while since I played some Forza Horizon on the damn customization. I'm down to run some RE BBSs on this thing, man. Class. Class at its finest. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we're going to go with the front diffuser on there. Um, braking, we're going to need as much braking as we can get. This thing is going to be a beast on the highway, and I cannot wait to run this thing, man. You know what? We don't even need that. Weight reduction. How much thing is... Oh, my God. 3,100 pounds right now. This is going to be a monster. All right. Uh, Driveline, differential, and that is it. So, let's go take this thing to the highway. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Not not too much, though. But just just that slight, tiny bit that we're going to die. You know what I'm saying? It's a little crazy. All right. Are you guys hyped or what, man? This is going to be nuts. This car is going to be scary. I'll tell you that right now. So, let's put this on our map right now. How far down are we? You know what? Let's start off back up here. So, we're going to run this through the... Oh, my God. God, man. 1,500 horsepower to the wheels right now. Oh, my God. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. This thing is this thing is a little bit dangerous just a little bit though i'm excited to let this loose though on the highway get away from me man imagine driving this on the road and getting matched up with someone on the highway and they think that they got balls and you just pull out a 1500 horsepower bugatti oh we almost died Shit! we got it we got it oh Jesus, save us! Oh my god. No tree, no tree! We're doing it! Oh my god. Are you, oh, I don't even want to know how that would have looked in real life, man. Oh my god. Alright. Let's uh, turn the damage back on. Difficulty. Cosmetics on and off. Appreciate it. And we're good as new. How about that? We didn't die. I was just kidding about that. You know what I'm saying? I was just kidding. Alright. Make sure we're not overshooting these damn corners, man, again. This thing is just too crazy. In 400 yards, turn left. Just listen to this thing get down, man. This is this is like a damn rocket ship on wheels. This is what this is. In 200 yards, turn right. Alright, we're going to slow this down, coming to this corner. Appreciate it, GPS. In 200 yards, turn oh my god. I am excited to see what we can get this thing up to in terms of top speed. Oh, excuse me, PT Cruiser. Here we go. We are on the set path. We just have to keep going straight. Get past this one little... Down! That's not cool, man. We lost our front damn window. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. Excuse me there, buddy, up here. I don't know what the hell you're... Oh! We just tapped the wall! Excuse me! These guys are so slow! We had to bank off that wall, man. We just passed that Venom, no problem. Jeez, this is crazy! We died. We already died. Oh, my... I'm so rattled. I'm sorry about this, gentlemen. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, some driving difficulties right now. I want to get a full run on this, man. We're going to start it back off right about up here, I think. Whew. All right, this should be good. I'm 230 miles an hour right now. This is absolute banana sandwich. Here we go. No wheel spin whatsoever, man. I'm so surprised with this thing. Probably doesn't help that we have like the fattiest tires on here right now. We gotta just know when to give it. Alright, you know what? Let's go into third person right now. We're missing our mirror, man. 240 miles an hour. Oh my god! We got it, we got it. Let's bring it back up. <sighs> 
250! Oh my god, man. 266! Can we get to 270? Oh my god, we got to 270. Oh no! Okay, okay. Jeez! Oh, oh, oh my god, man. Here we go. We're gonna try and bring this up. Give me some speed, man. Give me some speed. This thing is just hauling some ass. 270. We're hauling right now. 271. Can we get it to 272? Come on, Bugatti. Let's go. This thing is not going any faster than 270 right now. Woo! Two, what? 269? That should have been 270, man. Not about that. Let's check our leaderboard standings for that time. What are we at here? 1,000? Or 100,000? Jeez. So somebody had a damn faster tune. They probably didn't have the front arrow and smaller tires on this car. That's got to be what it is. But, gentlemen, ladies, I thank you guys very much for coming around for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode of Highway to Horizon 2, make sure you guys slap that like button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to tell me what you guys think about No Story Mode and Actual Horizon 2 and Anna, the new GPS navigation, whatever the hell that thing is. So let me know your thoughts, gentlemen. Jabuta Slap Train, I'm out. Peace.